The only problem is, is his mic stand being on a hill. <clears throat> that uh, being on a hill, the mic stand looks w wobbly. Well, you know what? No, I'll be fine the way it is. I just don't touch it. Yeah, just don't touch it. Okay. We should try to knock out like three songs. way of the sidewalk though. How's it look with the tree next to me here? Okay. How's that?
Talk, talk, talk. I'm just, I'll tell you what, let me start a song so you can check, get the levels, all right? Climb, climb the highest mountain and I swam the deepest seas. Raised my soul up to heaven. Felt the devil take pity on me. Searched so long for all the answers to the questions running my life. Too many roads for me to travel down and I'm praying that I get it right. And I'm hoping that this trying's not in vain now. My heart, my mind, my soul, no simple toy. When the angels come down from heaven, I hope they look out for this South Buffalo boy. How's that? Huh? What's the matter? Okay. Can you hear it? No, I said, can you hear it? All right. All right. Sorry.
Qatar is good? All right. Climbed, climbed the highest mountains and I swam the deepest seas. I raised my soul up to heaven. I felt the devil have pity on me. Been so long and I've been searching for the answers that been running my life. Too many roads for me to travel down And I'm praying that I'm getting it right Hoping that I'm trying to in vain now Let's start over. Okay, you ready? All right. Go ahead. Climbed, climbed the highest mountains and I swam. The deepest seas I raised my soul up to heaven Felt the devil take pity on me Searched so long for all the answers to The questions that been running my life So many roads for me to travel down And I'm praying that I'm getting things right and I'm hoping that this trying's not in vain now. My heart, my mind, my soul, no simple toys. When the angels come down from heaven, I hope they look out for this South Buffalo boy. Search so long for all you know the questions. Gonna do a different song. How many lines do you have to cross? How many hills do you climb? How long do we stare into the sun when we realize we're going blind? People are all around the getting mad as hell. Don't know how much more we can take. Wondering if we should load up our guns or is it love that we shouldn't make? Signs are all around us, but we can't see. What the hell's the matter with you and me? Do we make a difference or let it pass on by? Looking like ostriches, our heads in the sand. Are we following a master plan? We're like books on a shelf, and these words are our lives. But how many lines? How 
How many lines will we draw in the sand? How many lives we gonna lose? Will they keep shoveling it right down our throats or will we get a chance to choose? People up on high, they say that it's all right. You know we got it all under control. We do have reality TV, but I think it's scripted as hell. Or maybe life has lost its soul. Tax signs are around us, but we can't see. What the hell's the matter with you and me? Do you make a difference or let it pass on by? Looking like ostriches, our heads in the sand. Are we following a master plan? We're like books on a shelf. And these words are our lives. But how many lines? How many lines will I have on my face when I realize we're getting old? Love be here to warm my heart. Will it be all dark and cold? Cause since I was young, felt something's wrong with me. Maybe something's just not right. Cause God, how oh, I love the light of day, and I feel comfort in the night. Signs are all around us, but we can't see. What the hell's the matter with you and me? Do we make a difference or let it pass on by? Looking like ostriches, our heads in the sand. Are we following a master plan? We're like books on a shelf. And these words are our lives. But how many lives? Hey, Sanger, how you doing out there, man? Thanks for uh, hanging with us. I don't have any headphones or anything, so Zeke's got to relay stuff back and forth from the... Uh, he's going to come right here in the screen chat right now. How's it going? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Nice of you to come out. Like yeah, this is uh, about a 35-year-old uh, tagamine that I rebuilt, and it's a pretty nice instrument. Thank you. It is. It's a lot bigger than a, a, a violin, isn't it? Sure. It's almost like a bass bigger. Bass is just a little bit bigger. But anyways, next song we're going to do here, we're recording all this. We're trying to get some, we're working on some promotional video stuff. So, you know, kind of like uh, something we can show people what we've done different places. And we're going to be going around uh, the uh, Buffalo area here and doing this at different spots. Uh, in case you're wondering what we have behind me here, I'll, I'll tell you. That big bridge back there, that's called the Skyway. That's been here since about the 60s. I think it was finished. And over here, to this island here, uh, we have actually the Coast Guard base itself right here. Uh, you can't see it, but off in this direction here is a, a lighthouse. It's been there, I forget. I think it's the one of the original ones. I think it got rebuilt once. Um, out towards that way is actually what would be uh, Lake Erie. This body of water here is actually part of the Buffalo River that comes in and into uh, the Erie uh, Basin Marina, which literally is, is on the other side that way as well. Unfortunately, we couldn't get back there because it's probably seasonal. They got it shut down. But, um, you know, that stuff happens here. You know, you never know how the weather's going to be in Buffalo anyways. So, yeah, so that's what we got here. And then uh, if you can see here, That is the Naval Servicemen's Park that they uh, set here in Buffalo. 
Uh, the one uh, boat. I don't know. Is that it? No, that's not it. There's another boat that I don't think you could see. It's the Sullivans, which was actually, uh, I forget how many brothers from the Buffalo area had passed away at different branches of the service uh, during World War II. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, but so, yeah, so I'm going to do another song for you, if that's okay. We're going to try to do like about uh, six songs while we're in this location here, because you never know how the weather's going to be. It looks like it might rain a little bit. And uh, cold weather and the guitar don't work together so well. So uh, this song we're going to do is going to be uh, Angels Are Laughing. song called uh, Angels Are Laughing. Hope you like it. I did. Good. Happy. All right. Now, this next uh, song here I'm going to do, I've attempted a couple times, and for some reason I'm having some kind of mental breakdown, but I think I've got it together. And uh, this will be uh, song number three today, huh? Pretty cool. <laughs> Truly remote. You don't get more remote. Well, we could get more remote than this. But then uh, we probably wouldn't have any sort of uh, uh, signal, and uh, wouldn't we'd be able to record, but not to broadcast. But 
we could always do that and broadcast it at a later date, so that would still be fun. A little song from a place that I'm from, and I can point it out to you. Okay. Back up in the distance there, that tall white tower. If you went straight in a straight line after that tower by maybe about half a mile, that's where I'm from, South Buffalo. There's a little song about it, South Buffalo Boy. devil take pity on me search so long for all the answers to the questions that been running my life so many roads for me to travel down and I'm praying that I'm getting it right and I'm hoping that the trying's not in vain now my heart my mind my soul no simple toys when the angels come down from heaven, I hope they look out for this South Buffalo boy. So much time now have I wasted on the things you know that I thought were right. Sometimes it's so easy just to be scared of the things that go bump in the night. Out there somewhere in this darkness, I know there's a light for me to see. And there's no telling what a man might do to make himself feel free. Well, I'm hoping that this trying's not in vain now. Mind my mind, my soul is no simple toy. When the angels come down from heaven, I hope they look out for this South Buffalo boy. You know that sometimes life, it goes and trips you up, and then it knocks you on your ass. Heads up. Keep on up. Keep pushing on and just like time, this too is gonna pass. You know it's gonna pass. And I'm hoping that this trying's not in vain now. I hide my mind, my soul, no simple toys. When the angels come down from heaven, I pray. They look out for this South Buffalo boy. You know that when the angels come down from heaven, I hope they take back with them this South Buffalo boy. Hey now, South Buffalo boy. Hey now. Buffalo boy, where I'm from. Uh, let's do a little molecular circuitry. I think that'd be uh, a good song to do right now. Uh, you know, let's enjoy this day. I mean, you think about it here. We've been here and it's been like sub-zero temperatures for so long. And, you know, uh, when Dave was saying, uh, you know, a friend of mine, Dave Urban the other day he came out to see me play and he said something about uh, are you going to do any outside shows and I said you know what I'm going to talk to Zeke about that and guess what here we are doing an outside show pretty fucking cool huh so it's a beautiful day I mean the trees are starting to bud I mean the birds are chirping and singing and the seagulls are you know rats with wings that eat whatever they can get their hands on 
and uh, the people are out and they're walking about, you know, enjoying the fresh air. And uh, we're doing the same thing here. So I'm glad you're uh, taking that uh, ride with us today. So. So this little song is called Molecular Circuitry. I woke up this morning, I was feeling tired and down. You know I was wondering what it is that makes me stay here in this town. Well, all my friends and family, they all think that I'm insane. Well, you know, maybe my general compass isn't working in my brain, or maybe me and you. My mind it is a whirling it and uh, my chest it hurts to breathe. Maybe there's a problem with my molecular circuitry. Whoa. All the things we thought were priceless, no one cares about the cost. Well, youth, it is so fleeting now, you know it's wasted on the young. Oh, you know my past come back to haunt me, please forgive these things I've done. I just want to spend some time sitting in the sun and not get skin cancer. Well, is askew. Oh, you know what we thought we needed was a thing called me and you. My mind it is a whirling and my chest it's hard to breathe. Oh, you know maybe there's a problem with my molecular circuitry or maybe I should just take a knife and cut myself wide open. But what do I hope to find? Synapses askew. All we thought we needed was a thing called me and you. Well, my mind it is a whirling, and my chest it hurts to breathe. Oh, you know maybe there's a problem with my molecular circuitry, 'cause deep inside my heart is breaking, and my chest it hurts to breathe. Oh, you know, maybe there's a problem with my molecular circuitry. Oh. It's like four songs like nothing. Just did them like, eh, you just do it. You can't help it. I got issues with myself. Uh, so I was thinking about the different songs that I wanted to play today. And this one always comes to mind. And it's, you know, a, a song that uh, you kind of sit. It's one of those songs that I sit sometimes and when I contemplate reality. I, I, this song always comes to mind, and I wrote this some time ago, and I hope you like it. It's a little song called Parts of Me. Thank you. 
going to be a pain in the butt tuning the temperature I can feel dropped. Forty days and forty nights, you know I've been wrestling with my soul. Maybe this is all that's left. Parts of me are going numb and confusion's running wild. Have I lost sight of my quest? I remember when happiness was like my best friend but lately you know they act just like a guest even with a love that feels so strong i got no reason for to doubt you know i hope i do my best love is her it warms my heart and i feel it when it beats my faith it's feeling all so strong but yet my soul is not complete my thoughts are everywhere just like the air i breathe are the answers just too far away to see or is the whole the parts of me I've been running around almost all my life, you know I'm just trying to find the key and bridges. Well, you know it can burn so fast. Mountains high and valleys low, so many miles you know I've walked. And I can't find my sacred path. Why does peace elude me so? It's like it's laughing in my face. Well, maybe, maybe I'm just a joke. Feeling like a beast of burden, and it's a great weight that I pull. Will I ever shed this yoke? When you don't know the questions, you know the answers are all but lost. You're trying almost anything and you don't care about the cost. You know you're wondering if you got more lessons here to teach. Hoping God's not getting tired of my pleas. And if you are, take these parts of me. Take these parts of me Cause when you don't know the questions You know the answers are all but lost Trying almost anything And you don't care about the cost Prayer seem to be answered But you know you got more lessons here to teach Hoping God's not getting tired of my pleas. Forty days and forty nights, you know, I've been wrestling with my soul. Maybe this is all that's left. I think that's what I'm going to do for originals today. I'm going to do a couple of cover tunes here while I got you. And, uh, yeah, this song is uh, one of my favorites. Um, and uh, I feel, you know, if we're going to go ahead and we're going to be doing uh, uh, this video, we have to kind of show people a little bit uh, of uh, flexibility, I guess would be the best thing to say. So... Uh, <laughs> One of my sweetie Peggy's favorite songs, a little song called Beautiful Wreck. I 
I've forgotten all the times I've given up on you Cause you make such a beautiful wreck you do There's a tavern on the corner called the Milky Way And you look so at home that it makes me afraid And at the dark end of the bar, what a beautiful wreck you are Now that you've gone too far Seven years ago Like all those promises you made I watch them come and go You put the keys in the car But it wouldn't drive And you're sitting at the wheel Looking barely alive You know I'm sitting here waiting the dark end of the bar what a beautiful wreck you are now that you've gone too far beautiful wreck you are what a beautiful such a beautiful beautiful wreck you are such a beautiful you're a beautiful Sean Mullins tune. All right, let's go back a little ways.
take my whole life to you know that I can't help falling in love with you you know that I can't I think I got like uh, maybe uh, two more, two more songs in me, only because my hands are really cold, and uh, they're almost bleeding. Literally, I've played so much this past week that I have permanent indentations now in my fingertips, so it's kind of a mess, and it really hurts. And uh, so I'm gonna do uh, two more, and I hope you like it going to do uh, a couple of Chris Stapleton tunes because everybody loves Chris Stapleton. I'll do my little medley for you. <laughs> Yesterday just came and went And today I'll be dealt another hand That I'll have to play What we said and what we meant Two different things Some words and rings And time keeps raising the stage I'll see you in my dreams And tomorrow you know I'll watch those memories They'll just fade away That's the way it goes it seems The fear sails like rain I feel the pain And it keeps going every day Without your love Sky is gray without your love. The sun doesn't seem to want to shine without your love. Every hour is the darkest of every day, and every moment's a crime. And every moment's a crime. you the more I can live without you no one else you know can set me free so baby please come back to me baby come back to me without your love the sky is gray without your love you know the sun no one shine without your love every hour is the darkest of every day and every moment's a crime without your love and every moment's a crime without your love you know I'm doing my time without your love every moment's a There's a bottle on the dresser by your ring, and it's empty. And 
right now I don't feel a thing and I'll be hurting when I wake up on the floor but I'll be over it by noon that's the difference between whiskey and you Come tomorrow, I can walk in any store and it ain't no problem. You know they always sell me more, but your forgiveness, that's something I can't buy. Not a damn thing I can do. That's the difference between whiskey and you. One's a devil, one keeps driving me insane at times I wonder if they ain't both the same and one's a liar, tries to help me hide my pain and one's the long gone bitter truth, that's the difference between whiskey and you. got a problem but it ain't what you think I drink cause I'm lonesome and I'm lonesome cause I drink and if I don't break down and bring it on myself it'll hit me right out of the blue that's the difference between whiskey and you One's the devil, one keeps driving me insane at times. I wonder if it ain't both the same. And one's a liar, tries to help me hide my pain. And one's the long gone bit of truth. That's the difference between whiskey and you. That's the difference between whiskey and you. I'm going to do one more song and we'll call it quits. That's okay, Zeke. Can I get a thumbs up, maybe? You hear me in there? Anyone in there? Hello. All right. Going to finish up with this song right here. A uh, little song called I Hate to Leave You Before I Go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're traveling down this road. Sometimes we're carrying a heavy load. And without you in my life, maybe I never know how to smile. They stay still, rivers run deep. So many promises, and you know, I wish you could keep but there's something going on with me and i think you should know i hate to leave you before i go before i go you know that i would surely hate to leave you before i go Sometimes I know my life is a mess. I'm my own worst enemy now. Most of the time I'm guessing. And you could be right next to me or dancing on that shooting star. In life there's good times and bad. Hold on 
to those sweet memories, all those dreams that you had. Cause when they told me, I told them that it cannot be so. They told me, they told me, they told me, yeah, they told me, and I just said no. I won't believe it, you can't say it's so. Because I surely hate to leave you before I go. Before I go. Before I go. You know that I would surely hate to leave you. Before I go. Well, there's a feeling deep inside of me. It's like it's running wild. Sometimes I just don't care. Sometimes I'm acting like a child. And if the Lord decides to take me, there's one thing you all need to know. I hate to leave you before I go. Before I go. You know that I would surely hate to surely hate to leave you before I go before I go concludes our broadcast for today here. I want to thank uh, Zeke, of course, for bringing the uh, mobile van out here and uh, hanging out. And uh, it was fun and it was dandy and uh, look forward to, to more of this in the future. Thank you, Ain't Have a great day. Okay, well, we're going to stream all the way home then. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, cool. All right.
You still there with us, Sinker? Uh, hey, how's it going there, folks? I'm glad you uh, caught up on the phone. Could, could. Hold on one second. So yeah, uh, let me buckle up, folks. Yeah. That was my favorite flat, baby. I saw her rolling down the window. Was she really in the middle? So, yeah, so we're going to be uh, cruising around Buffalo here. It's nice and warm here in the van. And uh, so uh, thank you folks for hanging out with us today and seeing what we were doing. And the sheriff's deputy over here is probably wondering, huh, eh, what the hell are these guys doing? But the Buffalo police and fire have gone by us, and nobody said much of anything, so I guess we're okay. Nothing. Oh, your phone is back here on this counter. Okay. All right. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, this is, uh, if you can kind of see out the front glass here, this is uh, a good part of downtown Buffalo here. Wait, wait you want to get to the radio? St or the no, we'll go around. Uh, going to go around? Gonna okay. Around. So we're going to cruise around a little bit here. And, like, yeah, just you folks pretend like... Uh, this is a sightseeing tour, and I'm your tour guide. Hi, I'm Carl. I'm your tour guide today. This goes on to the educational portion of the program. Over here to our side here, we have the Naval and Servicemen's Park. Um, we have a couple different, uh, you know, you can't stand here, though. Yeah, you probably can. Uh, but this is the downtown Buffalo area. They have probably in the last 10, 15 years, I do have to say, they have really done so much to take the downtown area in and around, especially the old shipping. Um, this is what we're actually going over right now was at one point one of the main shipping channels uh, when boats would come through here and uh, be able to dock right up into where the buildings were that were getting the raw materials themselves you know steel and you name it cotton wood uh, over here you can't really see it but over to this side is uh, actually uh, the uh, General Mills you can General Mills Tower and that's a big, they make, ch that's Cheerios. I mean, on a nice warm day and during the um, summertime, if you sit in your backyard at night, you can smell the Honey Nut Cheerios. It's quite delicious. Makes me feel like I need a bowl right now, as a matter of fact. But, uh, yeah, they really have down here uh, taken the area and really tried very hard to make it so much nicer um there's a lot of nice you know there's liberty hound uh what's this place here can, that's one way can you go down can you go down there oh i guess you can oh you can go around okay i think you could you can turn the heat down a little bit if you want yeah thank you um but yeah so 
this here, this place here, Longshed, this is a fairly new place uh, that opened up. And uh, it's like a gift store. They just redid it all. Yeah. Unfortunately, it, it's... But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, you know, this is really in the last, oh, I don't know, say 10, 15 years, really they have tried to redo it in such a way that it's, you know, family-friendly and they're constantly working on stuff here. Um, so it is quite nice. Yeah, they have a kid's store here called Explorer More, which is really, really cool for the kids. During the um, winter months, we have ice skating and stuff down here, which is really cool. And uh, it's, it's, you know, like I said, they really have in the last, I would say, 10, 15 years really tried very, very hard to take the downtown area and make it more enjoyable for people. And uh, it is, it's, 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 it is definitely, definitely. So we're literally back almost where we were earlier, and I want you know, kind of inquisiting why the sheriff's deputy is uh, hanging out there. He's been there, yeah. We've been down here. What time is it now? Two, two, two thirteen. We had to be down here by around one, right? Yeah. Probably down here about one. But they really. Uh, that's up to you, I guess. I mean, I got, oh, I did, uh, I was a good boy yesterday. I did all my uh, work that I needed to, my laundry, and I still actually have a load in the, the dryer. some kind of left here probably at the next stop yeah pearl pearl but yeah they really have uh, folks you know buffalo at one time was i'll be honest with you and i've lived in this area on and off my entire life and at one point it was a little bit scary to be down here at night time uh unless you were you know carrying a firearm and even then you know uh, but we, uh, we really have, I gotta give it to everyone as far as the, you know, Buffalo Police Department, the Buffalo Fire Department, these guys really do a, a really phenomenal job trying to keep everything nice and neat and tidy here in the Buffalo area. There is craziness like there is in any and I would call, definitely, I would call it a, 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 a major city. I mean, Buffalo wants to be, uh, you know, reconstituted, kind of like Pittsburgh has and Cleveland, a lot of other towns that were at one point, you know, pretty much uh, your industrial hotbeds, you know, production of steel and you know, 
things of that nature. And, you know, when that all died off back in the literally the s towards the 60s into the 70s and 80s, you know, if you figure that's 40 years ago, it's, it's taken the city a little bit of time to kind of get itself back together. But, you know, what's nice is, you know, it is, you know, they say we're the city of good neighbors and, you know, proof in the point, there was a couple really nice women sitting in a car behind the mobile studio here watching what we were doing and commented to me and Zeke how nice it sounded, which I have to say, you know, it's kind of the reason that I do what I do, you know, it's, it's, you know, for not for my enjoyment as much as it is for other people's enjoyment. So if you aren't enjoying yourself and I am sorry, folks, for the first couple songs, uh, I haven't played outside like that in years, you know, except for maybe Porch Fest, and that's still a controlled environment, you know, where, you know, me and Zeke have stuff set up in su such a way that, you know, we're, we don't have to worry about anything, so, um, but yeah, so here we are, and uh, this is, uh, yeah, you'd probably want to put it right up here between the seats almost. Yeah. Up here, folks, on the uh, right-hand side is the Buffalo Convention Center. We can't really go down there, can we? Oh, can we? Oh, yeah, I guess it is. I know. So not poor, not, uh, poorly, Mark. What do you mean? And then we have the Statler Hilton over to the uh, left. And that is a huge, huge, huge uh, hotel, which I'm still looking at it. They still haven't renovated a lot of it. The whole back end of it's still all busted glass out. Huge, huge, huge. They're going to be working on that for years and years and years. But no, we're having, you know, we're, you know, this, uh, this definitely uh, was. Uh, day. What are we doing? Okay. All right. Yeah, we're going to do some readjusting here for you folks. Dirty. I just took these things out of the place, washed them. Now you're gonna lose uh, sight of us in a in in a in a few seconds here. Yeah, you gotta go up. So, folks, as we uh, continue our journey here down in downtown Buffalo, uh, we are now on West Huron and uh, Franklin Street, and we are heading up towards the Methco campus, which is where uh, Roswell Park, uh, Buffalo General, now Kaleida, uh, and uh, Oshai's Children's Hospital are. Uh, and, uh, like I said, in the last 10, 15 years, Buffalo has had a little bit of an identity crisis, I think you would say. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. And, uh, you know, again, it's one of those things that, you know, I'm 
pretty proud of Buffalo. I'm, you know, we're we're up on West Chippewa, which at one time actually was. If you wanted to get your freak on, this is where you came, and you know, it was prostitution and open drug use and just you know. Um, Yeah, the drug use is still pretty much all over the place. Um, uh, I want to also, again, the Banshee Irish. Right oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Um, we, uh, you know, Cigar Lounge and Spirits? Huh. Oh, that's Nickel City. The Buck and Bronf Buffalo. Oh, yeah. But, uh, you know, like I said, this area really has tried to reinvent itself, taking the buildings that have been around here for so many, so many years, and, you know, reconstitute them and and try to uh, make them as beautiful as possible. So yeah, so some of these houses around here have, are over 100 years old. Oh yeah, the, the uh, Cyclorama building. Yeah, the Cyclorama building is over here on the right. And, uh, you know, also in this little area here, I forget how many churches that there are. Some are still open as churches. Some are, you know, closed and have been used for different things. If we go up to uh, Delaware, I think we just passed it a little while ago. Um, Andy DeFranco, another well-known Buffalo uh, artist, uh, musician, uh, bought the old, I think it was the original first Presbyterian church that had sent, uh, sat derelict for some time, made a really nice music venue, not just on the main floor, but also in the basement uh, of it. There's a little coffee shop, and I think you can buy beer and stuff there. But this area around here, if Allentown was going on. That's Babeville. Yeah, Babeville Records, actually. It's a recording studio as well. Um, but this area here, if this was around when Allentown Art Festival or any of the major festivals in and around the Delaware area, uh, this area here would be, you know, mobbed. You'd, you wouldn't be able to drive down the street hardly. There'd be people walking all over the place. But, you know, again, this is, this is Buffalo. You know, this is, we're down on Allen Street now, Allen and Franklin. And, you know, some of these places have been around here for a long, long time as far as the different uh, businesses and um, restaurants and the clubs, bars, um, and they really do, uh, really, I have to say, like I said, they're really trying really, really hard to, um, make it happen in place, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. Uh, making it a happen in place, there's he. But yeah, I think what we did today, we should try to do that once the weather gets nice, oh, yeah. at least once a month, at least once a month. Right. So we're now on Delaware Avenue, which is one of the main thoroughfares actually here in the Buffalo downtown area. Um, and it looks like we got a little camera freeze in here. So give us a sec. It, it could be possibly the uh, internets wreaking a little havoc havoc with it. Oh, here it's, it's, oh, it's, yeah, it's just buffering. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think what it is is it was just buffering. It's, it's it seems like it's getting caught up now. Uh, so we're gonna. I'm not gonna say anything till we kind of catch up. Yeah, it's just paused again. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we're heading now uh, north, in, in if you were uh, wondering the direction. And, uh, you know, like I said, this is another area of uh, Buffalo that uh, was very, very, uh, this is where a lot of the ritzy folks, a lot of different industrialists back at the turn of the century, back, you know, 1880s and so on and so forth when Buffalo was starting to become its own and uh, lots of churches and lots of nice big buildings and uh, really for the most part um, I mean again you know people have gone ahead and tried very very difficult you know times to make things as good as they possibly can. Right here, uh, we're passing the Catholic Academy of West Buffalo, a school, and I believe that has a church as well. I wouldn't either, because you're not really by the west side, are we? Not even close to the west side, really. We'd have to go a lot, a lot farther north. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, compasses are changing while we speak. No, I mean, they, they'd be a little location. Th that could have been. Yeah, that could be it. Yeah. Now, uh, this building here over on the left-hand side, uh, this is actually Canisius High School. Um. Yeah, you can't really see it though. Uh, it's coming up. It's buffering, so it's coming up. Yeah, so yeah, so we uh, are coming down to actually uh, a circle area. I haven't been down this way in so long, which at one point had uh, Miller Fillmore Hospital Gate Circle. Also had a big bar called uh, the Locker Room, which is closed now. Uh, and uh, there was also a restaurant that was down here that you could not get in unless you had a shirt and a tie on. You did not have a choice. They would not let you enter unless you had a shirt and tie. But yeah, they've, they've left part of the old hospital, I see, which is, or no, that's the building behind the hospital, actually. Yeah, this is the old locker room up here. Yeah, yeah but the locker room closed probably 30 years ago almost. Got closed down for underage drinking. And two, two, two owners were cops. So they, of course, lost their jobs. And then they became firemen. Yeah. We are actually coming up on Forest Lawn Cemetery, which uh, 
is actually on the right hand side here. We have West Delavan, which is up here. Actually, this is commercial. Why am I talking? Oh, that's right. So if you're subscribing, you can still hear me and know what's going on. All right, cool. Well, this is for Sinker then. This is for Sinker. Yeah, everybody else is sleeping. But uh, yeah, so uh, once we get done buffering here, we're now a little bit past where we were uh, per the video. We're, we just passed the uh, Forest Long Cemetery, which has some uh, prestigious individuals in there. Okay. All right. Um, it's gone. I don't know how. I mean, it was. I think one of the original cemeteries that were actually. Because at one time, where we are, this was the outskirts of Buffalo, where cities like West Seneca, Chickawaga, and stuff would have been considered a suburb. We are actually in an area that, at one time. All that was here was the actual cemetery itself. And then I forget how many years, not too long after that, Olmstead came through and he did Delaware Park and Casanova Park, a few others, and uh, really uh, kind of changed the whole uh, dynamic. So we're going to uh, be uh, heading in towards the Delaware Park area here. We're going to Ramsey Woods. Ooh, spooky. So we're now entering the Delaware Park area. This is the Ramsey Woods area. And, uh, we'll go ahead and, them. and uh, this is one of the outside rings of the park where people's houses that you can see over, maybe you can't see, maybe I think you might be slightly out of, I'm gonna just move you just slightly. Over on this side here, you can see some of these houses. Now, these houses probably go for anywhere between five, six hundred thousand up to a million or more. Yeah, pillars in the way. All right, that's okay. That's better. I just moved a little bit. And uh, so, like I said, I mean, this, you know, this would be nice to wake up in the morning to and, and be able to. Uh, take a look out okay I'm gonna switch around a little bit here okay over to the right there I'm panning over you can see the back end of the, the casino at Delaware Park and of course there's the kids at play And then uh, way, way over there, you can't barely see it through the trees, but is the Albright Knox, I believe. Yep. So we're coming up on Lincoln Parkway. So yeah, Lincoln Parkway is a, a nice area. Uh, like I said, we're, we're coming up towards the back end of actually where the um, art museum is, which they have just renovated and done I don't know how much, how much to. Um, over here on the right-hand side, we're going to be coming up upon the 
like I said, the casino. And um, and then Delaware Park Lake is right here as well. Actually, yeah, that is Delaware Park Lake. here Just, I think the pillar might be in the way I don't know but um used to be and I'm not sure if you still can I believe that you can still rent boats and paddle boats and stuff when the weather is nice and you're all, you can go out there yep <coughs> yeah yes yeah they are actually kind of in the front of the you're not really getting a good idea of what they're doing to this because the majority of the construction, when we move up that way more towards Elmwood, um, you might be able to see it a little bit better. But it actually um, is a glass enclosed area. They're, they're kind of doing what they kind of did with the Louvre in, in Paris, where they had a lot of open glass structure, um, you know, to let natural light in and stuff in regards to the artwork that's inside the building and stuff, and I think that they're kind of doing the same thing. But, but yeah, this is the, they're trying to get the new light up back to them instead of the beginning at some point. Yeah. They got rid of the room up here. I'm not going to ask you what the new room up here is, but I know it was done with the light. Yeah. We could actually even go sometime with a portable camera, digital camera, and I could just sing and then lip sync or go back and record o the audio over on the video. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Plug in them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like I said, this is one another one of the projects that here in the city of Buffalo people, you know, are, are excited about. Um, I don't believe that the art museum is open at this time because of all the construction, both front and back. I don't think they have actually access into the building, if I'm not mistaken. No, actually, because if you see, if you look over between those trees way over there to the right, they're working way over there. They're working in the front. You can see the crane. That crane wasn't there two seconds ago. That crane just came up. Literally, as I was talking, <coughs> <coughs> so I don't say, I, I don't think there's an egress into the building right now, especially with all this heavy equipment. I mean, you know. Well, I don't remember where all the money came from, but uh, not dead. Well, you know, there's a lot of people that. Oh yeah. But yeah, I mean, for, you know, what is this, the now third, it's Wednesday, the third day of spring. So, I mean, for it to be, to be nice like this and that, that's pretty cool. I mean. <coughs> 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 Yes, a young Mr. Lincoln. Young Mr. Lincoln. I personally don't think it is what you would call warm enough to not have a jacket on. 
But then again, what do I know? Some people are able to do that. No, I know. Oh, did I tell you? So, it was so hectic and stuff. Saturday after our broadcast, uh, I, I, I told Rich, I said, I'll come back and get the money later. So I went back. And the day yesterday I was going back to get it, their money so they they went ahead and they uh, uh, were like I get a video sent to me and the video is my winning ticket being pulled out of the bucket out of what bucket? the 50-50 split oh really what'd you get? 176 dollars uh-huh. which is Bonus. a little bit extra something you know if I hadn't come back to get my money <coughs> but uh yeah and uh i gave like 40 back you know to the sh- there was for uh a hockey team for jerseys and stuff like that and she says oh i was hoping we would do so much more money but you know i go hey you know what i never win nothing yeah, i never win anything so any any amount 50 bucks 10 bucks hey i'm happy yeah this is this is our town here this is this is buffalo hey maybe i'll uh, drop some uh take a little shot of lincoln in there for a couple of days all right yeah we'll see how she likes uh coming on in i don't know i'm pretty cool you know what time is it it's almost three o'clock so Yeah, but uh, but here, you know, Buffalo is a, is also it's a bit of a proud proud city, you know. We, uh, you know, they really are, they're they're redoing everything. So, now that we're coming up to the front of the building, as I was saying earlier, they're starting to do a lot of glass enclosure, and uh, they have it designed in such a way, it's called the snake. And you come into the main part of the building, and then you go through this S-shaped area. And... Uh, when you get to that point, um, it, you can either go into the new building or to the old building, which is kind of cool through the S shape thing. We're bigger than everybody. Buffalo State College is over here on this side. You can see just a glimpse of the building as we go by it, the the back end of it here. Buffalo Buff State College is right across the street. We will be, yeah, we'll be going through. uh, See, there's another new building they put up back there, Zeke, back here. This one's new, too. 
there's both, and you can see the dome. Like I said, how they were doing something like the Louvre. Yeah, they had big balls that came from the wall. You couldn't see, yeah. But uh, they really, like I said, they really are. Um, they're they're really trying hard to uh, take everything and utilize it properly. And you know, I'm just you know, like I said, kind of. I'm glad that I can be here to uh, to see it. You know, because like I said, there was a time when down in this area, it was kind of scary. And the Buffalo Psychiatric Center, which has been here one of the older buildings as well. Uh, been around here, I forget for how long. The old psych center uh, actually um, they closed it down and then they reopened it and renovated it. And As we come down here now through the Elmwood area, a lot of this has changed as well. On the Left-hand side as we were driving, all these new apartments and condominiums and stuff like that, and that pretty much is now was a series of businesses, and it was houses actually, great big houses, you know, three, four stories. Um, but uh, you know, they well never closed. They never did. They never closed. They never closed. Yeah. But a lot of new buildings have gone up in and around this area. Um, <coughs> uh, case in point up here on my right hand side, uh, you know, these buildings here have all gone up within, I'm going to say the last, I forget how long. And um, a lot of these places, the Jackrabbit used to be uh, JP Bullfeathers. Um, we're getting in and around Potomac and Bidwell area. Again, a lot of these houses, um, very, 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 uh, you know, prestigious, beautiful, older homes. Uh, and now we're heading back down towards the more downtown area. Um, Elmwood Taco and Subs, which the tacos are good. I wasn't, I, I'm not impressed with the subs though. No, tacos are good. Though. Always good. Tacos are always good. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, like I said, a lot of different restaurants, bars, uh, you know, community beer works is here. Uh, <coughs> uh, of course, you got to get your tattoo. Oh, it's funny, the tattoo. And you know, and you got to go to uh, Waikiki uh, Poke and Grill if you like some Hawaiian food. I have not, but I know some people that have, and they said it was. Uh, no, it's the lights are on. It says open. Yeah. It said open for lunch. Another here, St. James Place, this church here, I forget how long it's been here, uh, a staple here on, on uh, in Elmwood Village here. Kind of a, uh, I guess you'd call it a little miniature city buffalo by itself. Got Lexington Co-op. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. They must be doing all right. Yep. But hey, we got Charlie the Butcher. If you want to buy a twelve dollar 
roast beef sandwich. Good roast beef, though. It is good roast beef. Uh, he, 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 Zeke is correct. It is very tender. It is very nice. We have everything Elmwood. That's been here forever. I think one of my sons got it years ago. Really? Yeah. Huh. They sold it. They never told you. No, I haven't watched the Dumbass and Fine Man or anything. Oh, damn. So again, now we're, we're coming down in and around the West Ferry area in Elmwood. This is like around where I used to live. This is like the Eastern Shore. Oh, really? Where I used to camp up. Oh, nice. Whoa! What? You was close. Yeah, I was. That mirror was close. But again, some of these houses, you know, you've got three, four stories to them. Um, and, you know, again, some of these houses are, you know, been here for over 100 years. But nah. Yeah, like yeah. Right as, as we look all the way straight down Elmwood now, you can actually see, I believe, part of the F is that the FBI building or the federal building? No, federal building. Felder Federal Building. FBI's across the street, that's right. Yeah, that's the federal courthouse, right? Yep, federal courthouse, yeah. But we're now at Lexington Avenue and there's also like I said, a night a lot of nice little shops and stuff in and around here as well. Um, and now we get closer, we're actually getting down closer now, back to where we were. We kind of did a loop around, um, the Thirsty Buffalo, it's another place that, oh, yep, yep, the yep, yep, a lot of people around here, uh, uh, you know, just proud, proud of, you know, someday I think what I'm going to do is when the weather's nice, I'm just going to park and come down here early when the shop's open and maybe take a watch around, you know? My daughter used to live right up here around the corner, as a matter of fact. Oh, yeah? <coughs> yeah, before she moved to Florida, that's where they lived. The Bean Bastard Coffee. Of course, you got to have a little Bean Bastard Coffee while you're here in Buffalo. You bastard! You bastardos! I, I said, said good, good day. day. Yeah, yeah, we uh, the background music courtesy of Burke's Remedy, recorded at, of course, Z Cooper Productions. But yeah, as we get farther now into downtown Buffalo, um, oh, what we got? What we got? What we got? A couple grand out of you, Sanchez. That's right. <laughs> yeah, because if you hit this thing, it's a big bumper. yeah, you're gonna be messed up, messed up. I do hope that he's okay. Oh, I, uh, he sounded okay. I'm not sure what's going on. He didn't sound like he was in distress. Hmm. Well, evidently not if he could call you. Yeah. yeah. Or, or uh, maybe it was someone else. I don't know. Hmm. What, they text you? No, he, I haven't called him. Oh. And here we're coming up on one of the uh, charter schools.
course, Jim's Stakeout. I believe this is their original location that has been here for ever and ever and ever. And we have people on the streets that, you know, are having great conversations with themselves. Ooh, smoke shops. That's nice. That's exactly what you want to do. Drive an Aries transportation van with people in it that literally, literally, literally are in wheelchairs. Well, don't worry. We'll be sending them the video. So, just so you know... <laughs>